everyone, so today I'm here to do a review of Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. So this was a book that was picked for the Young Adult Bloggers Book Club this month and I'm so happy that this was a book that won it. I think I did vote for it every day though, so that kind of helped. I think there's a couple other people voting for it every day. So I think that's how we managed to get this to be the choice for this month. I've been wanting to read this book forever but I just never got around to reading it and I'm so happy that I finally managed to read it. Okay, so this is a dystopian novel and it focuses on this girl called Aria and she lives in this place called Reverie and this is where it's like everything is protected in this big spaceship thing and then her mother was missing and Aria has to discover what has actually happened to her. Then something happens and Aria ends up in the outside world where she thinks she'll have no chance of surviving but then she meets an outsider named Perry and he's looking for someone as well and Aria and Perry realise that the best way for them to be able to find the people they're looking for is to work together. So I really enjoyed how this book was told from the dual point of views from Aria and Perry I feel like I got to learn a lot more about the characters from this and I also got to learn a lot more about their two different worlds with Aria living in Reverie and Perry living out in the outside world. I feel like I got a better understanding of both of the places from their different point of views. I had an instant connection with Aria. I thought she was likeable, smart, naive. She developed, she developed a lot throughout the book. She became a strong, independent character who could work for herself and after everything she'd been through, she just turned into such an amazing main character and I absolutely loved her. Perry was another character I had an instant connection with. He was strong and tough but that was because of the way he was brought up in the outside world. He had to learn to be kind of ruthless but Perry has this underlying nature where he really wants to take care of everyone who he loves and everyone who's important to him and I really love that about Perry and the fact that he was so flawed as well it just made him so perfect and I absolutely loved Perry. Perry and Aria started to annoy me throughout the book because they had so much chemistry and their relationship to start with wasn't and the best kind of relationship and I found myself screaming at the book because I really 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 wanted them to get together and the way it was going it didn't look as if they would but I was I was determined that they were going to get together because there was too much chemistry there for it to be ignored. I loved Roar as well. I loved how he became such he became such an important character. He was really funny, sarcastic, likeable and I fell in love with Roar. With Roar. I think he might have been my favourite character in the book. But then we also had characters like, Cin like Cinder, Lumina and Liv who we didn't get to learn a lot about in this book and I'm very curious to find out a lot more about these people, especially Lumina because I'm not too sure whether she's going to be good or bad yet. The other thing that really intrigued me about this book was the fact that all the outsiders, well a few outsiders had like these kind of powers and you had like some people were audibles which meant that their hearing was enhanced and they had extremely good hearing and then you had people like Skyers who could scent people's tempers and I thought that was such a really interesting one and I'm sure that there might be a, little, a few more powers that we haven't heard of yet and I'm really interested to find out a lot more about them. The world building in this book was brilliant. I loved hearing about Reverie which is sort of like the sanctuary for people who'd been saved and this is where people live and they have sort of like eye devices over, I can't remember which eye it is, and they can project realms which are like sort of virtual reality places and they can like project any realm that they wanted like from any country, any place, anything that they want and I was really intrigued to find out a lot more about that although I think there might be something going on with Reverie that we haven't been told about yet. And then you had the outside world where the whole of the world has been destroyed by cosmic storms and the storm is known as the Aether and it's constantly destroying their crops, their land and they're having to fight to, act to actually find food and be able to live properly because the world is turning into a wasteland. I just absolutely adored everything about this book and that's why it got 5 out of 5 stars from me. I have already read Through the Evernight and I will be doing a review on that hopefully very soon because I really really enjoyed the second story as well. I thought it was much better than the first one but I absolutely adored the first one as well so yeah. If you haven't already started this series I highly recommend that you start it 
like as soon as possible because it is one of my favourite series of all time now. That was my review for Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone!